MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs. Chanthony edition. Dirty laundry. Yeah. Today I have a shoot planned with my friend Erica Costell. She's one of those Team 10 members, you might know them. So the shoot is going to be sort of a 90s poolside look. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about when we get there, but it's going to take place at my friend's house up in the Hollywood Hills. They have an insane home, pool in the backyard, views of the city. It's going to be really, really, really beautiful. And of course we live in Los Angeles, so it is 80 degrees and sunny out right now. So we have a beautiful day. Another thing that's gonna happen at that house is these guys are so nice. They are letting me set up a studio in their garage. Something I've wanted to do for a while now. I wanted my own studio. People always ask me, so can we do a studio shoot? And the answer has almost always been, sure, if you're willing to cover the costs of another professional studio somewhere in downtown Los Angeles. They can get pricey. So I really wanted to set up my own. And the other day I went out and I bought this. So this is a 10 foot long, or eight feet long, I don't know how long it is, but it is a giant roll of paper. And basically this is my studio backdrop and I have a stand, it's in my car, that basically this is going to hang from, this rolls out. And we're gonna set it up in the garage. I'm gonna be able to do studio shoots now, which is very exciting. You can sort of get creative in different ways than you can like on location shoots, which is what most of mine are. So yeah, I can't wait to set this up. These guys have been awesome to let me do it. We're gonna be at the house. We're gonna set this up. I'm gonna do some drone shots to show you guys how insane the location of this house is. But before we get started with all of that, I have my Maverick shirt on right now. I'm taking some inspiration from my boy Logan Paul. We gotta be a Maverick. We gotta work hard for what we want. So first things first, we gotta hit the gym. Yeah. Dirty bands came from dirty work. Dirty bands that make their feelings hurt. Woo! All right, so you never want to waste your workout. You got to refuel properly, and to do that, what you got to use probably not that. There we go. Let's make a smoothie. Cheers. A few moments later. All right, I'm fed, I'm showered, I'm cleaned up, I'm feeling good, I'm ready to get this shoot going. I'm ready to get this thing out of my apartment. It's kind of just taking up a lot of weird space. I'm excited to get it set up in a garage. All right, let's go get Erica. This thing does not really fit in my car, but we're making it happen. So I just got to the Team 10 house. I'm gonna pick up Erica and we're gonna head up to the Hollywood Hills to do that photo shoot. Hello. Hey. Hey, there she is. What's Good up? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Uh, What's up? What's up, guys? Uh, Hello. What's up, vlog? What's up? Vlog <laughs> So Erica and I just got to the Hercules hideout. finished up the shoot, we're back at the Team 10 house. Ooh. We took some insane photos for you guys. Speaking of, yes. there's one right here. There's one right here. And one right there. What are you guys doing? MTV Cribs. MTV Cribs. 
Dirty laundry. Chantony edition. Dirty laundry. Yeah. Martinez was welcome to the room. All these. This is where the couch is where we get all the girls, you know we, you know yeah, we have them. This one we dirty couch. We got, we got the bed. The you want to come over? Blanket. That's the dirty couch yeah, for right. you. We got the trippy vibe blanket, you know, when you're editing and stuff. We got a bunk. The editing booth. So I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? We got a bunk bed that we took apart. <laughs> we got the privacy yeah, suite over yeah, here. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We're living good. We're living good. We're living lavish. We got some no. tattoos. We'll take you to the oh, bathroom. No. Yeah, the yeah, bathroom. The bathroom. We could do that. I won't. They actually got matching tattoos. Check and they are out, gigantic. You know yeah, we got the bathroom. No, it's actually a good This thing. actually looks clean. We actually just cleaned it out. I'm impressed. We're clean for a bunch of This place, this place. I'm impressed. You should have saw it about an hour ago. I no. literally an hour ago. <laughs> just a log in there. <laughs> that's, that's no bueno. Man. No, that's no bueno. Man. No. Martinez. Martinez. I didn't need to know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we wrapped up at the Team Ten house. I'm back in my beautiful neighborhood here in Los Angeles. Basically, ten minutes down the road from where the Team Ten house is. It's not far away. I still drive there because. Nobody walks in Los Angeles. But I think we got some amazing photos. I finally flew my drone at this house, which I've been meaning to do for a long time. I got rid of those studio backdrops. They're out of my apartment for good. I put them in the garage. I didn't show you because their garage is a mess right now. They have all kinds of furniture in there and that needs to be moved before I can set up the studio. So that will be part of another episode coming soon. But yeah, I'm happy with what we got. Today was awesome. I'm headed back to my apartment now and I'm gonna start editing these photos to get them over to Erica. All right, I am back at my apartment. I'm ready to get started editing those photos of Erica. But before I do that, I wanted to answer a question for you guys. So I went on Instagram, I put something on my story asking what you guys wanted to know and I wanted to answer the most popular question that was asked. So overwhelmingly, the most popular question that was asked is what camera do I use? Quick answer, I shoot with a Sony a6300. I'm going to be doing a separate video soon that is all about the gear I use. I'm going to tell you what I use, why I chose it, and when I use it. But the second most popular question that was asked yesterday on Instagram was how did I learn photography? How did I learn to take photos? I did not go to school for it. I did not study photography at an institution or anything like that. I went to school in Washington, D.C., and I studied international affairs and environmental science. I am Captain Planet! I was not a photographer a year and a half ago. This is something that I believe, with hard work, dedication, and a strong study habit, it's something that you can teach yourself. So, first thing I did was YouTube. I watched so many YouTube videos, hours and hours. I probably spent days watching YouTube videos on how to take a photo, what camera gear I should start out with, what lenses are good for what, what lighting I should be looking for, whether you're looking to shoot landscape, portrait, whether you're looking to take photos or video, it's all covered in YouTube videos, much like the ones I'm hoping to make for you guys. Step two for me was books. I like the idea of having something solid in my hands that I can learn, I can go back to, I can refer to it. Um, so I bought a bunch of books. I have two of them right here. The Digital Photographer's Handbook is the first one that I read through. It talks about equipment, it talks about photography techniques, it talks about editing. It's an amazing book. If you guys want to check it out, I'll, I'll put a link in the description. The second one that I this was actually a gift. My mom believed in me, so she wanted to get me a photography book. This one is called Getting Your Shot. It's a National Geographic book. It's an incredible resource. It actually, this book actually gives you projects. It gives you assignments to go out and shoot yourself. And I actually went through this book and shot probably 10 of the assignments. I read the book, I went out, and I did what it told me to do and there is nothing better to learn how to shoot than actually going and doing it. Go out, shoot every single day, take your camera with you wherever you go. If you don't have it with you, you probably have your phone with you. iPhones make incredible cameras. A lot of people have found a lot of success just shooting with iPhones. The best camera is the one that you have with you, so always go out, shoot, and to start with portrait photography, I just had to shoot with my friends, take photos of my friends. I'm back at school, my senior year of college, I just started hitting up my friends, being like, hey, I need to, I need to take photos today, do you wanna model for me? 
A lot of them thought I was crazy. Some of them said yes. Those people that said yes were the first people that I truly got to test my abilities with. I was also lucky enough to meet a wedding photographer in Washington, D.C. while I was at school. Her name's Carly. Hi, Carly. She taught me a few basics and actually lived with a model at the time. So that was the first modeling shoot that I did. And the second I took a photo, I was hooked. That was it. That was it. I was going to pursue photography. For better or for worse, I was going to be a professional photographer from that moment on. And it was a struggle for a long time. Moving to Los Angeles was not easy. I drove for Lyft for a long time to make money. Nobody knew who I was. Nobody knew my photos. Nobody wanted me to take photos for them. That It was that simple. So I needed a way to make money. And what was true when I started in Washington DC was absolutely still true in Los Angeles. Reach out to people, anybody that needs photos, that maybe is willing to let you take photos. Just going out and doing it is more powerful than any book, any YouTube video you can watch. Yeah, so that's basically how I learned. It was hours on YouTube, hours reading books, and hours and days and weeks just going out with my camera everywhere and shooting with anybody that would say yes. To all of those that asked, how did I learn photography? I hope that helps. I hope you can take something from what I said and apply it to your own life and go outside, find a friend, take your camera with you and just take pictures. That's the best thing that you can do. So good luck to all of you and I'll see you next time.